Homework 11, question one. The stochastic process X of T is real um, Y sense stationary with auto collation of R X X of tau and then the power spectrum density of S um, X X of omega. A, to show that the R X X of tau is real and even. So we know that R X X of tau is gonna be equal to the expect value of X of t plus tau times x of t because x of t is the real WSS. So um, we know that our excess of tau is going to be equal to our excess of t plus tau t and it's going to be equal to the x of t plus tau times the x of t expect value of that and then it's going to be equal to expect value of x of t times the x of t plus tau is going to be equal to the r x x of t t plus tau. So we actually switching the terms. And we know that it's going to be equal to r x x of negative tau. So because of that, we prove that r x x of r x x of tau, the outer collision is uh, even is even. B the, to show that the power spectrum density s x x of omega is even and non-negative. So we know that S, the, the uh, xx of omega is going to be equal to the integral from negative infinity to infinity, the auto collision rxx of tau times the j e of uh, e to the j, uh, negative j omega t d tau. And it's going to be equal to uh, the integral from negative infinity to infinity rxx of tau times the cosine of omega t times uh, omega tau times d tau minus the j times the integral from negative infinity to infinity times the r x x of tau times the sine omega tau d tau and we know that um, r the auto collation is going to be uh, even and sine of omega tau is uh, odd not odd so we know that when it times together it, it is um, odd so we know it's the equation become uh, uh, equals to uh, two times integral from zero to infinity r x r x x of tau times the cosine of omega tau d tau, and it's going to be equal to two times the in integral from zero to infinity the outer collision tau times the cosine of negative omega tau d tau. So it's going to be equal to the as the x x of negative omega. So we know that the uh, power spectrum density is uh, even. To show that the power spectrum density is non-negative, so we suppose that we have a system that the input is x of t, which is uh, WSS, and then the output is y of t. And uh, the h of omega, uh, as shown in this system, is an ideal bandpass system, uh, which means that uh, h of omega is equal to 1 in a very, very tiny uh, uh, space between omega 1 and omega 2. And it's going to be equal to 0 uh, everywhere else. So we know the expect value of y of t squared is going to be bigger, and, uh, bigger than 0. And it's going to be equal to 1 over 2 pi uh, times the in integral from negative infinity to infinity the power density function at, uh, times the h uh, of omega uh, squared d omega and it's going to be equal to 1 over 2 pi of uh, integral from omega 1 to omega to the sxx of the omega d omega so we know that the area of that is uh, non-active uh, in any intervals so we know that the power spectrum density function is going to be bigger than zero, which is uh, positive everywhere.